When I first started out as an entrepreneur, my only goal was to make some cash on the side. That's it. I had a great career, a good paying job, but I knew like so many of you that jobs don't last forever. And working a nine to five wasn't my end game. We've heard the saying before, dream big. But for me, it wasn't about dreaming big. I didn't quit my nine to five job on a whim. No, I tipped my toes into the waters before jumping in because I just wanted a piece of the pie, maybe just a little crumb. It didn't matter to me, even if I was only making an additional 10K a year as a side hustle, to me, that was success. If you have a job and you can make some money on the side, that's a big win. So when I started my journey, there were no big ideas. I was trying to just make some pocket change. Once I created my first business, something strange happened. The entrepreneurial spirit within me was awakened. Even though my first company went belly up, it did not discourage me from continuing on and trying again. And that is the point you need to understand. If you do nothing, you are 100% guaranteed to fail. For me, stepping outside of my comfort zone and creating a business was the beginning of my journey. Fast forward several years later, and my net worth skyrocketed from $10,000 to $10 million. I can honestly look back and say the reason I was able to increase my net worth wasn't because of some great idea or because of some lucky break. No, it's all because I decided to do something instead of doing nothing. It didn't matter how small the profit was. So if you're watching and you're tired of being in the same place you were last year or you're tired of watching everybody else succeed, or you're just tired of being tired, then stick around and keep watching because today I will share some tips and the keys to breaking that cycle. This is all the tools you'll need in order to become a successful entrepreneur and increase your net worth. The first and most important thing you must understand is that to be a successful entrepreneur, you must be a risk taker. I know it sounds very simple, but a risk taker is someone who is not afraid to fail. Now, there's a big difference between a risk taker and being reckless. As I mentioned before, when I first started my business, I didn't just quit my nine to five immediately. Why would I? My job paid my bills and I didn't wanna be homeless. So to succeed in business, you must be ready to take risk. There are no other options if you want to achieve your goals. If you often hesitate to commit, you'll need to step outside of your comfort zone because success requires making choices that can lead to both big rewards and some serious challenges. In entrepreneurship, being willing to take on risk is crucial. It helps you push the limits, create new ideas, and ultimately find success. You have to do it even if you're scared. One of the main reasons why being a risk taker is crucial for entrepreneurs is that taking risks can lead to new opportunities and open doors you couldn't have imagine for yourself. When you take risks and you try new things, you are constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible. This often leads to rewards and gratification that can change the trajectory of your life. Remember, fortune favors the bold. Another important aspect of being a risk taker is the ability to embrace failure. In entrepreneurship, failure is not the end of the road, but rather a learning experience that can help you grow and improve. By taking risks and being willing to fail, you are opening yourself up to valuable lessons that can ultimately lead to a future of success. As the saying goes, fail forward, fail fast. Being a risk taker also helps build resilience. I did a video on this, which I'll post up here, but Building resilience is a crucial trait for successful entrepreneurs. When you take risk and face challenges head on, you develop that mental toughness needed to overcome any obstacles and allows you to keep pushing forward. By constantly putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and taking calculated risk, you are strengthening your ability to bounce back from setbacks and keep striving towards success. The goal is to fail fast and recover quickly and keep moving along. There are no successful entrepreneurs who have not taken some kind of risk. Having an idea is just the beginning. Look around you. There are so many opportunities. I started my first trucking company without working in the trucking business. So why did I start a business in an industry I knew little about? Because I saw an opportunity and I wasn't afraid to fail. Similarly, Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, took a huge risk when she quit her steady job and invested her entire savings into launching her shapewear company. Despite facing numerous rejections and setbacks along the way, Blakely's risk-taking ultimately paid off, as Spanx, as you all know, has grown into a multi-million dollar enterprise. These examples serve as a testament to the power of taking risk and embracing the unknown in the world of entrepreneurship. If you think taking risk sounds crazy, just wait. There's another important piece to this crazy ride of entrepreneurship. The next skill is just as important, if not more so for building a thriving business, becoming a connector 
and building a strong network. To be a successful entrepreneur, you have to be a connector and be able to assemble a team. That means being open to individuals, their abilities, and how they can assist you on your path. They say it takes a village, and that is very true. It takes a village to launch and successfully maintain a business. At the start of your business journey, it's okay if your team is just you. Before I had a team, it was mainly myself and my husband taking care of everything. Don't worry, nobody knows your vision like you do. Beginning small is a normal part of the process. And as your business grows, your team will grow too. I encourage young entrepreneurs to make connections, whether at an in-person event or in social networks. You never know when that one connection you make will be instrumental in the success of your business for decades to come. When assembling a team, it's essential to look for certain qualities in potential team members. First and foremost, look for individuals who are passionate about your vision and committed to achieving success. Passion drives motivation and determination, which are essential traits for overcoming obstacles and achieving goals. Additionally, look for individuals who are innovative, creative, and flexible. These qualities will enable your team to adapt to the changing circumstances and come up with innovative solutions to challenging problems. As a successful entrepreneur, it's crucial to empower your team by providing them with the resources, support, and autonomy they need to excel. Delegate responsibilities effectively. Trust your team members to make decisions and encourage them to take ownership of their work. Provide ongoing training and professional development opportunities to help your team members grow and advance in their careers. By empowering your team, you can create a dynamic and high-performing workforce that drives the success of your business. And remember, don't be cheap. You get what you pay for when it comes to employees. Always find the best person for the job, not the cheapest. Empowering your team is so essential but there's another trait that can make or break your success. One that goes beyond skills and strategy. It's the quality that every great entrepreneur must possess, confidence. Entrepreneurs have to be confident. While this seems similar to the idea of embracing risk, it's not the same. If you take risk, you will occasionally fail. It's the nature of the beast, but can you bounce back from failure? Being confident is being resilient in the face of failure. Confidence must be woven into your psyche as an entrepreneur. It is also not just confidence in making initial decisions about your business, but also confidence in your ability to pivot if you hit a roadblock. That's another form of confidence. You have to be confident not just about the normal path that you selected or where you've done all your research, but the fact that you can change if you have to and flow in a direction that you may not have planned to. Confidence is important as an entrepreneur because there will be days and nights when things may seem so bleak. No one will know about your struggles, but that's okay. Most people will never see the struggles, only the success. That's what makes an entrepreneur. The constant grinding and hardship that goes into committing to something with an uncertain future. The resilience and confidence you gain now are mental scars that will serve you moving forward. As I mentioned before, my first business failed, but the lessons I learned is what made me who I am today. As the saying goes, show me a person who never fails and I will show you a failure of a person. The point is well said. To be an entrepreneur, you must be willing to fail, but your confidence must not waver in the face of such failure. Confidence is what drives you towards success. Entrepreneurs need to believe strongly in their ideas and values. If you don't trust your own business, others won't either. There will be tough times, and during those moments, your confidence will be the only thing that keeps you going, reminding you that your hard work will eventually pay off. Confidence is the backbone of every successful entrepreneur, but it doesn't mean doing everything alone. This next crucial skill is knowing when to step back and let others step in. Enter the art of delegation because true leadership means surrounding yourself with a team that complements your strengths and fill in your gaps. So delegate, delegate, delegate. Being willing to delegate is absolutely essential for entrepreneurial success. You have to be the leader of your venture. That means you have to find people with skill sets that complement what you do. You might be able to do it, but they can do it the same or even better. I have handed over many responsibilities in my life. I couldn't have taken the risk needed to grow my business without trusting my team to make smart decisions. As a business owner, you should never think you are the only one who can make your business succeed. That kind of thinking is very self-serving. This is why it's crucial to hire the right people. Delegating provide an excellent opportunity for entrepreneurs to empower and develop their team members. By assigning challenging tasks and responsibilities, entrepreneurs can help their employees grow professionally, build new skills, and 
gain valuable experience. This not only benefits the individual team member, but also strengthens the overall team dynamic and performance of the company. Entrepreneurs often wear so many different hats and juggle numerous responsibilities, leading to burnout. Delegating can help alleviate the stress by sharing the workload and preventing entrepreneurs from becoming spread to them. By recognizing when to delegate and trusting others to handle tasks, entrepreneurs can maintain a healthy work-life balance and prevent burnout. Delegating is a critical skill for entrepreneurs to master if they want to succeed in the competitive business world. By learning to delegate effectively, entrepreneurs can improve time management, boost productivity, develop their team, avoid burnout, build trust, and seize growth opportunities. So remember, delegation is not a sign of weakness, but a strategy for success. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time on my channel. Keep building and thriving in your entrepreneurial journey and don't forget to subscribe if you found some value in this video.